Over a period of four spacewalks in 2015, NASA astronauts laid the groundwork for the installation of the first International Docking Adapter, or IDA, on the International Space Station. The first three spacewalks were conducted by Butch Wilmore and Terry Virts, who unfurled hundreds of feet of power and data cables needed for not only one, but two docking adapters that will serve as future docking ports for U.S. commercial crew spacecraft in development by SpaceX and Boeing. Saturday, February 21st, 2015, focused on pressurized mating adapter, or PMA number two, to which space shuttles used to dock, and where the first IDA is being attached as the primary docking port for the first commercial crew flights. Working on the forward end of the Harmony module, Wilmore and Verts played out 10 different cables in some of the most labor-intensive work in station history. After unfurling the first eight cables and prepping the last two for the next spacewalk, the crew members called it a day. Four days later, on February 25th, the pair headed back outside and routed the remaining cables to PMA2. With their primary job complete, the pair split up for additional station maintenance tasks, including preparations for the relocation of the permanent multipurpose module as part of the reconfiguration of the station to accommodate commercial crew vehicles. After another four-day breather, Wilmore and Vert suited up one final time to install the Common Communications for Visiting Vehicles, or C2V2 system, a relay system for data and communications between approaching commercial crew vehicles and the station itself. Working in tandem, the NASA spacewalkers hoisted two antennas on the station's truss structure before routing four separate 100-foot cables to a single connector located on the U.S. Destiny Laboratory. Then, last December, right before Christmas, astronauts Scott Kelly and Tim Copra took up the cause, routing yet another cable that will be used for the installation of the second of the docking adapters to the space-facing side of Harmony. The two docking ports will provide redundant parking spaces for U.S. commercial crew vehicles that will augment the transportation of astronauts to and from the orbital outpost and the expansion of research capability on the International Space Station.